Hey everybody, Jesse here. Uh, welcome to our GT4 night. Uh, this is going to be Midwest Motorsports uh, GT4 GT Road Racing Series. Uh, this week we are at Spa. So I'm heading into the week in P5 in the Pro Class and P5 overall. So looking to have a good finish here if we can. Um, if you're watching this as a video, uh, go ahead. I'm going to post the chapters down below. So if you want to skip ahead, uh, right now this is just going to be uh, open, single, it's not open, it's single player uh, qualifying with AI. In about 30 minutes I'll be doing qualifying open, sorry, open practice uh, with the league and then we'll get into qualifying and then the race. So if you want to click down below in the chapters and skip ahead to open practice, qualifying, and race, feel free to do so. Um, or if you want to watch the entire stream from beginning to end, that would be awesome as well. And if you happen to be catching me live, thank you so much. And if you're new to the channel or returning and you're not currently subscribed, it'd be awesome if you would consider subscribing. Turn those notifications on. That would be absolutely amazing. All right, so we're going to get out there and get some practice in. I've been tr kind of struggling trying to set up the AI It's still kind of weird. Um, finding that the AI, for whatever reason, is way faster than I am. I originally set it, usually I set it like around 90, between 90 and 105%. And it was about four to five seconds a lot quicker than me. And even when I was dialing it back to 90%, it was still way quicker than I am. So I've got it set, I think, between 75 and 85% now. But I have a feeling the AI is still going to be a bit quicker. But it's just practice. Hey, Toby, how's it going, brother? I hope your Tuesday is going well. Exit is clear. Yeah, so once again, this is just uh, individual practice with the AI. Uh, these track conditions should be comparable to what we're going to see in the race. And my AI is still way faster than me. So I don't know, because we run a fixed setup in the league. I'm thinking maybe the fix that up is just way slower than whatever the AI is running. So I'm able to get a I-28. It looks like the I AI is going to be in the 27s. Looks like in the race session, uh, quicker guys, when we were doing practice, they were able to get into the mid-28s. So I think that's where you need to be to be competitive, and I haven't been able to quite get to mid-28s yet. I think some of the slower hand guys will probably run in in the low 30s. Lap for three, 228.40. Hey Mauricio, how you doing this afternoon? I was able to 
uh, watch your Monza video this afternoon. That was a solid finish. Okay, Jesse, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. So were you able to get some practicing Be for your for Holden. three hour race that you got me six. Hey, there's Toby. You have a race tonight, Toby? Day's been pretty good. Um, kind of new, kind of a new addition to the family. So the reason we went up to Reno the other day is uh, Christina's mom is adopting a puppy. Well, not a puppy. It's a two-year-old golden retriever, a rescue from Taiwan. Uh, so we actually have him today, and we're puppy sitting. So he's been keeping us busy today. So he flew into the States like, I think a week ago, a week and a half ago. He's the sweetest dog, but he's got a lot of, a lot of training. He's almost two. And it's kind of sad because he's not even like fully potty trained. Um, he also has well, they think it was a congenitive birth defect, so his right eye isn't fully developed. It's actually kind of sucked it back in his head a little bit. And then his eye only opens maybe like a third of the way. Uh, so he's blind on the right. But he doesn't know any better. I mean, he's just the happiest dog. So, we've got some work with training and everything, but his demeanor is so good, he's super gentle, and he's a major cuddler, so... Yeah, we've been working with him today. B27. And he gets along really good with the rest of our dogs, so Christina's mom has a... I don't know, probably like a... 15 year old Lasso Opsal. She's kind of a pain. Uh, and even she right likes side. Them. And then her Still other there. dog is a Golden Retriever as well. Still there. 85 pound Golden Retriever. Keep it steady. And they're getting along great. Hold your line. Clear right. So he met our two boys today. And. It was just instant chemistry between all of them. Toby, are you blind on your right eye? Uh, my wife Christina is mostly blind on her right eye. So we kind of joke that. Master um, slap for Hill 227 6 They're going to be screwed.
So I'm guessing you were pretty young then if it was a BB gun. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Surprised nothing like that ever happened with my brother and I. Heads up, there's a car rejoining. Yeah, my wife with her with your eye. Lap in this session. You're now 2.6 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.5 off the pace. Having, um, like a tumor, a brain tumor. And they had to do surgery, and I can't remember if the tumor, how much of it had to do with her vision. Um, but they had to do like this crazy surgery where they go in with like lasers and burn up like blood vessels and stuff like that to try to get rid of the tumor. Which helped, uh, but then she ended up having a stroke. Which that's what I think really kind of screwed up her vision. But the stroke actually ended up making everything better, which is kind of nuts. It ended up, um, the nerves and the blood vessels that were all screwed up, it ended up actually taking those out. So it's kind of a weird situation where the stroke actually may have saved her life. Yeah, but she's basically half blind on her right. Uh, pretty much she can't see any peripheral on her right. Yeah, that's way um, my wife is, Toby, yeah. For the most part, I mean, she's adapted to it. Now, her vision is slowly getting worse in her right eye. So we think eventually she might be fully blind in her right eye, but she still probably has maybe half of her vision still. But it's slowly getting worse. Right side, still there, he's still there, clear to the right. Oh, Toby, I was kind of catching up on the chat. Sorry you're not feeling well. Think you just got a little cold or something?
so it'll tell you when you um, are taking your medication, though, it kind of balances out everything. You think A29. You're kind of getting back on your medication, and your energy levels will kind of come back pretty quick. That's a new fastest lap for Holden, 227.22. Watch the track limits, please, Jesse. Toby, it's a pretty fun track to drive. The guy behind has just done a 229.55. I'm not terribly consistent here though, even though I like the track. Um, I still think it's at a 19.2 Mauricio with the uh, endurance set up. High down, high down for some endurance. Toby, I'm with you on needles. I have a fear of needles. I always have. But it got kind of exasperated when I was uh, younger. I had to have my appendix removed. And they had like a training nurse or a new nurse that was coming in to draw blood. And she couldn't find a vein, so she spent like half an hour poking me before she finally gave up and had another nurse come in. But it's like ever since then I just had this fear of needles. I can never be a heroin junkie. I've gotten older and you think the, the fear of needles would go away and it hasn't even though I haven't had the same issue ever again. I mean, most of the time when I get blood drawn, which I hate going to the doctor, I haven't had any issues. I'm 
built just to fear of it. Can't stand up. B30, good luck. That's your quickest so far. Alright guys, about 10 minutes we're going to be hopping in to the open practice session. It'll be nice to actually run with some drivers at my pace. Motor breathe that I could get the AI dialed in on the speed. Sector one is quick. So the three-hour race that you and your friend are practicing for, is that going to be the BRS race, endurance race this weekend? Uh, I think they're at Le Mans, right? speed limit. Yeah, the I box mean, in five, four, three, it's two, kind one. of frustrating when box you now. feel like you're <laughs> pin cushion. But it seems like some are way better at finding like your blood vessels than others. Oh, VRS is back at, okay, they're back at Sebring. Yeah, I think I'm, I like Le Mans, so I want to try to get some races in at Le Mans this week in the GT3s. New fastest lap for Meister, 226.91. Alright guys, so we got about six minutes. <laughs> Get out of here. Since we're getting murdered by the AI. Hey, when I had an AI at 100%, they were running 224 lap times. There's traffic approaching. Watch your mirrors.
Yeah, I still need to talk to Travis about the Prevention Big or however you pronounce it series. I think he's wanting to do another one of those six hour races too. to get out of here another four minutes and get into the race session. I'll probably want to do one more lap, practice my pin entry, then we'll get into the official race session. Sector one time's okay. All right, Jesse, you need to watch the track limits. Side, clear left. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Activate limiter. Alright, the timing works out perfect, so we're gonna hop into the race session here. Box in. Five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Hey, Toby sounds good. Yeah. Tell the rest of Jordan we all say hi. Alright, so we're going to hop in the official race session here. This is going to be for the Midwest Motorsports uh, Road Championship Series. And leagues. It should be open, yep. So it's gonna be 10 minute practice, then we have 15 minute qualifying, and then we're gonna hop into the race session.
Yeah, Marcy, I need to just touch base with Travis. I mean, we haven't even talked about it since we originally kind of threw the idea around. But it seems kind of cool. I mean, having the Porsche Cup cars, kind of the fastest class, then you've got GT4, TCR, and I think there's another class. So I think it could be a pretty fun um, series to run in. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to be right back. Actually, I'll wait for this to load in real quick. All right, who do we want to follow? Nobody's on track yet. Really? Nobody's on track? I hear cars. All right, well, let's see if Cody goes out. Yeah, I think the GT4 might be the most fun class just because it's going to be... I mean, it'll be kind of in between on The track speed. temperature's falling. I mean, it's it'll now 67 definitely Fahrenheit. Definitely going to be slower than the uh, Porsche Cup car, but it's going to be quite a bit quicker than the TCR, so it's kind of a kind of a fun middle car to drive, I think, for the series. Radio check. You're good. Mic check. I can hear you. Who's Mike? At least he has a good supporter. A lot of people ask about him. Happy birthday, number zero zero. Hey, thanks, buddy. Hey, Mike. Get away from me, you stupid race control. What, you don't like it? Would you prefer that clash here? Oh, hell yeah, please stick your ass out. I mean... A, a lot of people pay extra for that. Birthday flash, did I go? I mean, we are in Belgium, guys. Different rules. Is that a Belgian thing? You should have asked me a month ago that my birthday was that was then. See so yeah, how this works actually getting practice with other cars. If you're free, birthday flash is mine also today. Should be able to keep up with. We're talking about birthdays. I turned 21 like a week and a half. Your voice says otherwise. Happy birthday, Brian. It's yeah, not his birthday yet. It's been a week and a half. Yeah, get it right, Ian. Yeah, well, I'll say it next week, too. A pretty good race here. You can't tell him until next week. There are rules here. Well, you know what? Happy unbirthday. I'm gonna file a protest to race control.
Car left. Clear left. I'm gonna figure out why Race Labs is this isn't showing everybody's name. Thank you. Uh, I I really hope so, Bruce. Yeah. In practice, the guys that were quick were quite a bit quicker. Though they had about half a second. Okay, quick driver's meeting here. First and foremost, we have no one with a penalty this week, so everybody's free to qualify as they see fit. Congratulations, guys. Uh, you know, the usual drill. An incident All first Lake lap incidences like will be reviewed after the race, and penalties will be applied as necessary. On the start of the race, make sure you guys stay in your lane and do not try to overtake those within your lane until you've crossed a certain finish line. Due to this track, it is advisable not to take the green flag before the straight. However, leaders may choose to do as they see fit on this. When you spin out, it is on you. Won't have to worry about any real headlights tonight, as the track won't really get dark until the race is practically over. So expect mostly fog and cloudiness. Don't think there's a heck of a lot else to go over. Just make sure you guys take it easy the first lap. We don't want parking lots on this track like any other track. Other than that guys, I think that pretty much covers it. So good luck, have fun. I think tomorrow at Road Atlanta is going to be a lot of fun. I really like Road Atlanta, even though I had some pretty bad races yes there yesterday in the GT4 series. Um, I do really like the track. So I know people, there were 30 cars registered. The pit exit's clear. Okay, Jesse, we've got 14 minutes to get a decent lap in. All right, so we have open qualifying in this series. So hand class can sometimes get in the way and impact qualifying. A lot of times like to try to get out there and get a lap in pretty quick. Right, right side. Clear to the right. Far right. Clear right. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 67 Fahrenheit. Somebody already went off the track into the wall. And we're going to want to kind of get a little space from these guys before we start our first lap. Feels a little bit tight here. Yeah, Mauricio, I want to try to get a gap.
looks like the guys behind me are trying to give us a gap here. Ah, oh, thanks, Toby. Love being on the big screen. Makes me feel important. in front of us is Lincoln. I'm gonna let you give me a toe. I'm not good enough to stay in the track apparently. Mercy, I appreciate it.
fastest lap for Phillips, 228.79. Gotta make her in. Slow. B6. It looks clear. All right, so we've got more time to get a lap in. That was not ideal, guys. I was just trying to push it too hard. flag. Blue flag. JT, are you on a fire? A little bit. I oh, appreciate you, thank you. Blue flag.
up the traffic. Hopefully they're not going to get in the way here. Probably going to be my last attempt at a halfway decent lap. Sector 2 is 0 0.40 off the pace. New fastest lap for Blum, 228.42. Exactly what I didn't need, guys. B13, that's your best lap in this need. session. You're currently 2.5 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 1.7 off the pace. On your left, clear on the left. I don't know if this last lap will count or not. Fingers crossed it will. Screwed there with the traffic. Get the draft, so that's helping me right now. Sector one time is good. Let's us finish the lap. So I'm gonna keep going. think it might be Griffin. Not as good as I should have been, but hopefully that's an improvement. There's an incident in La Source. Okay, there we go. It counted. Nice. Okay, so we have a couple of minutes here until we'll be gridding up. See if this result stands. So we did a 29.6. Um, still eight tenths on pole. But I know he can run a high 28. Thanks, Mauricio. Kind of made up for the last one, but still off pace from what I should be doing. All right, guys, I'll be right back.
That's the end of the session, P7. Alright guys, double check to make sure you're on the Ad Drivers channel to make all communications during the race. And remember the advisory of not taking the green flag within the chicane. It probably isn't wise, but leaders are free to do as they see fit. I will announce when the pace car is off the racing surface and leader can take the green flag as they see fit. Other than that guys, unless there's any last minute questions, good luck. Alright, so we got a 30 car field here. Qualified P7. Um, probably could be a little also bit Also, don't forget, make sure to stay in your lanes and do not overtake those within your lane before you cross a certain finish line, guys. Even within the bus stop. But even if I was a little bit quicker, I'm not sure if I would be that much further up the field. I mean, maybe I could have qualified one or two positions up. Potentially. Yeah, maybe... Yeah, probably one position. My best is a 28.9, and that still would have been P6. So it looks like I'm starting where I should. So I need some of the guys in front of me maybe to have some issues. But I'm also wondering if maybe their best times also, maybe they were getting a tow. Seventh position. The track temp is 67. The air temp is 65 Fahrenheit. It'll be interesting to see. I haven't had the opportunity to do really any running. Stay cars. behind Dahl in the right column. So I don't know what it's going to be like with the draft. There's your birthday bump. Thank you. Okay, Jesse. Take cars off, guys. Green, let's go, let's go. Not a great start. Car left. Still there. Hold your line. You got a better run on Hold the outside. Hold your line. Still there. You let me have it. Still there. No. Clear left. Hey, I had a feeling I was going to get an off track there. That was tight. Now he's going to run. On your right. Clear right. Watch out on the left side of the top of the hill, guys.
There you go, the Nick. Hoping if I can stay in the draft, maybe I can keep up with these guys. So sorry about that, Hansel. Just getting into the bus stop. Alright, I kind of overshot that a little bit. Turn one. Alright, that was better through there that time. Yeah. Okay, Jesse, we think our refueling window will open after 19 minutes. It should close at about 40 minutes. You're reeling. All in. The gap's now 0.35.
Got a little defensive there. All right, Jesse, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. E7. Way on the, on the brakes earlier than I am in the turn one. I gotta make sure I'm accounting for that. I don't wanna smash into them. Thank you, Rob. So far, so good. Jesse, the next car is Dahl. That was a 2.30 and 2.7. Need to try to get back up to the back of Odell. No worries. Thanks for hanging out as long as you could. Good luck with practice. Defend hard. Make them work for it. They're quicker than you entering the chicane. Got back on the throttle way too early. There's an incident in. Turn 11. It looks like Bauer. Oh, that's Max. Max is a quick guy. Alright guys, we gotta clean it up here. Last two laps I've made little mistakes. How's it going? Hope you're having a great night. Just 
cannot shake the guy that's behind at all. P6, that last lap was a 230.09. How'd your race go, Russ? Okay, Jesse, you're reeling. No, in the gap is 0.6. Get 
better drive out of the corner than I am. dabble a little bit more in ACC. It's been about a year since I've run it. I actually did an update yesterday thinking about maybe trying to get some races in later this week if I can. Jesse, you've used half your fuel. Not sure what I was thinking there. The unshipped it to third gear for some reason. Car is dull. The lap times are pretty consistent. Which is interesting, Russ. I get I saw some people complaining today about the force feedback in ACC. But I think sometimes force feedback is a little bit of a preference too. Kind of depends on the person. Sorry about that, 17. All good. Sixth place. Last week or the week before, we were talking about seats. We asked about comfortable seats. A couple guys recommended um, NRG. Said that they're really comfortable. Oh yeah, it's a pretty big difference. Okay, Jesse, keep running on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. <laughs> Incident in La Source. It looks like it's Griffin. <laughs> the 
So door ahead is now 0.9. That's a new fastest lap for Bauer, 228.29. The pit window is now open. Even though the pit window is open, I don't think I want to pit yet. Here is to fall back into lap traffic. We're not lap traffic, but AM traffic. So Max is coming after he went off track. There's an incident in Lacoon. You think it might be? Yeah, Rick energy and... is what they recommended. Incident in turn nine. It looks like long yellow flag. Watch out. That's leaders if it's leaders off. That's P1, guys. Steve, go ahead and take this position. Wonder if he's got damage. Wonder if he got into it with lap traffic. Sector 1 time's OK. Sector 2 is 0.6 off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.9 off the pace. He just gained half a second, or a second and a half that left. Max is ridiculously quick here. Thank you. Right, Jesse, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Oh, that was a mess. I 
to wait and let's curb. I didn't want, I didn't want. I wonder if Matt's going to get a run on Justin here. He's got to run. Not enough, I don't think. Uh, they're side by side. Bauer is closing you down. The gap has come down to 0.41. Car right. Clear right. Jeez. Max is yeah, don't panic. We'll get him back. Coming through. I don't think that was intentional whatsoever. He's a super clean racer. I think he was just trying to get a run on both of us. bunch of time when he went off track earlier and he's definitely quicker than we are the leader has just done a 228.44 Going for the undercut. I don't blame him. Okay, Jesse, we're halfway through. We estimate seven minutes of fuel remaining. It's going to be a better option for him. Yeah. <laughs> Got that red. 25 for him. Like I said, he's typically a pretty, pretty clean driver. 28 pitting this lap. The gap in front is now. 77 pitting. Yeah, I haven't looked up the energy seats, but like I said, uh, multiple people are recommending it. So if they're less expensive, then that's even an added bonus. Dang. That was, that was almost game over. I just had a tire off just slightly as I went to get back on throttle. Yeah, Mauricio is still going pretty good. Uh, running P5 at the moment. Uh, but there's some faster guys that are coming back up through the field. I think I've got an outside shot still at a P5. Or a top 5. Oh yeah, 1500 bucks is over my budget. 28 hitting up. Well, that's pretty cool they have the FIA seats available. Alright, I 
that SUV. OK, Jesse, we estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. The gap ahead is now 1.4 seconds. We're running on fumes, mate. Pit this lap, in this lap. Williams, behind, is pitting. Sector 2 is 1.1 seconds off the pace. Porsche 17 pitting this lap. Alright, I was hoping to be able to go a little bit further on fuel. Or maybe have a chance for an undercut. Sixty-nine bidding in. Just love saying that. Nine. 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 I'll be putting this lap, Jason. Simple. Very little fuel left. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Box this lap. Car 17 leaving pit. Oh, that's pretty cool, Russ. Yeah, so NRG is pretty legit then. No, I didn't. There's an incident in the chicane. It looks like Phillips. I don't really there. know anything about him, um, other than people have recommended him. Sixty pitting the slap. Pit lane speed limit is fifty miles per hour. Okay, we'll fill you to the end. Got one gallon left. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. I have no idea how much fuel that's going to be. Phillips is leading the race. do any testing, so I'm just going to assume it's pretty close here. There's traffic behind. Keep your wits about you. Oh, that's pretty impressive, guys. Now i got to see if I can keep the position. And pray I have enough fuel. It's getting closer. The gap's come down to 1.4. They're faster than us into the chicane. Number two putting in this time. Alright. 69 minus one putting out. Nice. Kind of. Alright, no mistakes guys, no mistakes. And I just make a mistake. I haven't gone off track there the whole race. Gonna go wide for you, Daniel. Number two, pitting up. 
All right, you three. Hopefully, yeah. I was behind the other car, so it was probably saving a little bit, bit of fuel, so hopefully. This is a backfire on me. That was terrible through there. Plus us. We think it might be Griffin P3. <laughs> Like it's Griffin. And Max is flying again. Did it again. Getting back to the throttle way too early right there. Fastest lap for Bauer, 228.29. Man, he just maxes at us 1.2 seconds quicker than I did. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 17 seconds. That's a crazy amount of time.
sure there's no way I'll be able to hold off Max. 42 minutes without a spin. Darn it. To make you feel any better, I only went 42 seconds without a spin. Time was at 229.48. Alright, guys, it's gonna get busy here in the next couple of laps, it looks like. Fortunate, make them do the work. Both Matt and Max are gonna probably be able to get runs on me here. They're definitely close enough. Jesse, 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. This is good, keep banging out level up times. Thanks, Griffin. Thank you. Source. Pretty sure he's quicker than me everywhere. 
could have a run here into the bus stop, possibly. Well, you can have it. I can't afford another incident. There's an incident in La Source. Looks like it's Griffin. That lap was at 229.32. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Left side, clear to the left. Oh, my braking is different than his. He brakes way later. Stewards have warned us about Man, track limits, so keep between the lines. Both the guys behind me are quicker. I mean, it's only a matter of time before Max gets me. Twenty-five, you just reappeared on my screen out of literal thin air. Who on? It looks like. Yeah, I lost uh, connection with my wheel. Just frozen everything. Yeah, I think I shit my pants. Bro, you just disappeared. I can't see you. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Car what? Hold your line. Keep it steady. Am I still going? Clear left. Oh, Jesse, yeah, I can't, come I can't on, mate. position. That's concerning. The car in front is power. You're good. You got plenty of room to make. Stay focused. We're still in this. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. I knew he was going to get me. It's only a matter of time. Am I back? Not yet. I'm just looking at my relative. Let's see how wide you can make this thing. Alright, you just flip back in. Incident in La Source. We think it might be Griffin. Sorry for the heart attack. Thanks, number two. 33, going to see. It's also attacking the top there better than I am, too. Yeah, it's definitely an incident point, but I don't think he cares about his incident points at all.
hoping to be able to stay in his toe. Time was at 229.05. Guy behind is definitely quicker, so it's going to be tough for the last lap to hold them off. shaved almost a full second off that last lap.
Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. All right, guys, last lap. That's your best lap in the session. Sector one is 0 0.28 off the pace. The guy behind has just done a 228.31. All right, the two car could actually help me out here. Maybe. Either the two car's gonna help me, or they're gonna totally... Good last coffee. Oh, I'm gonna have a slow down. Stay between the lines, please, Jesse. Yeah, that screwed me up. You need to slow down a bit if you don't want a penalty. Left side, clear left. Five minutes of fuel remaining, five minutes. Having to... If he had just taken the... If he had just taken it... it would have been fine, I think. Just totally threw off my entry by doing that. Yeah, I wish he had just continued. In all honesty guys, I probably should have still made it through there clean. I should have adjusted for that, but it, it totally throws your rhythm off. Thanks, Kevin. And he kind of bailed out at the kind of last second, too. I mean, Bloom probably would have got me. The gap to long ahead is increasing. It's now 4.3. But I would have liked to have Go in, Brian. had a chance at a top four. Thanks. Appreciate it. Looks like P1 has gone off in. La Sauce. Thanks, Brian. You saved me from having to do another lap. <laughs> P5. Okay, that's the end. Good finish, mate. Well done. And actually finished with a lap of fuel. Took too much fuel. Oh, that's a bummer. Had a pretty good race. Um, that last lap can I didn't work out exactly how I wanted to, but top five is still pretty good. Yeah, he had to just continue because we weren't even close to him. Because I was following him at this point, so I was on the lane, racing line and then he decides to slow down. That completely screwed me up. Uh, I had to give up P4 right there. Great race, man. Five, that's my misjudgment. You know, if I had lifted a little bit, I think in the middle, I probably hey, could have got you. it to work. But I still tried to keep it flat out, and that's what killed me. But once again, if, I think if he had just stayed and run through there on the normal racing line, I could have stayed behind him and then also benefited from the draft and been able to keep in front of Bloom. And then Bloom would have had to fight me through the last half of the track, which would have been way harder. So, yeah, if McLaughlin... McLaughlin, if he had stayed, I think it would have been good. I think it would have been okay. And had a sh at least a shot at a top four, P4. But P5 is still pretty good. I'll take it. Thank you, Russ. Thank you, Toby. Appreciate it, guys. Whew. So tomorrow, guys, we're going to be at Road Atlanta in the Pony Express Sim Racing League. Same time. Um... 
starting off probably around 3.45 Pacific Standard Time. So what, 6.45 Eastern? Yeah, either if he had slowed after T1, he could have even slowed after T1 and just let both of us go by. Or waited till we got through the whole, um, what's it, Ar Rouge, whatever complex that is there. Can't remember what it is down below and up top, I know. Um, I think it could have at least maintained P4 and probably kept four down the Camel Strait. And then Bloom could have fought me the last three quarters of the lap there, which I think he would have gotten me, but it would have been nice to make it hard on him instead of having to let him go by because of the black flag. Thank you, Toby. Thank you so much, and hope your family is doing amazing as well. Oh, I wish Bailey a happy birthday month, since it's still April. No, absolutely. Rest slowing would have hurt. Would have hurt. Would not have hurt them. And if they had stayed on it, I also don't think that would have hurt me if they had stayed on it. I think we would have been okay. All right. Toby is sometimes streaming. Not Toby. Cody. Cody is sometimes streaming right now. Let's see if Cody is streaming. Man, Cody is not streaming again, so I don't know if it's an off week for them. Double check here. Yeah, Cody is not streaming again tonight, so I don't know if he's off tonight. All right, everybody. So, yeah, we're going to be back on tomorrow. Uh, for GT3 racing at Road Atlanta. So definitely keep an eye out uh, for everybody that stopped by, hung out with me, Russ, Mauricio, uh, Toby. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Rob was in here for a little bit. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me and spending time with me. Uh, Brian as well, Idaho Panhandle. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you for the support and hanging out with me, watching me race pretend race cars it's pretty cool that you guys hang out with me and support that um and then anyone else that's new to the channel that happens to be watching if you enjoyed the racing be sure to subscribe uh turn on notifications that would be awesome i always love the support um also if you're still hanging around check our feature channel page for other streamers that support me i support them if you could give them um a look and maybe subscribe if you like their content uh, we have Mauricio Parada on there, um, Ace High Racing, uh, Idaho Panhandle, and a bunch of other guys that um, I really enjoy watching. And they support me, and I support them. If you could support them as well, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I hope everyone has an amazing night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Toby. You're amazing, brother. Have a great night. Hey, Brian. Brian's back. How'd Wreckfest go, Brian? How'd your stream go? Yeah, Brian was just streaming. So Brian, Idaho Panhandle, will stream Jumpy Trucks, Andy, uh, GT4. Um, he has a few other titles that he streams as well. So check out Brian over at Idaho Panhandle. He's a pretty cool guy. Definitely a great guy. Once again, everybody, Thank you for hanging out with me and the support, and I'll see you all tomorrow.